We're out in a walk-in cooler in a restaurant. And this is what we got. I took the took the blade off and cleaned it and and here's our motor and it was it's just humming. Um I loosened up the bolt on it but it's not these brackets aren't spreading apart. And it's a band clamp on it. So what I have to do is this bolt here and this bolt here I have to drill out to get these brackets to move to let this then I'll have to put bolts in it later but that's what I have to do right now to get this out these are rivets little center mark pilot to just uh, smear just hard sometimes to cut into one That's why it's making noise. Now the trick is is to spread this and take these bolts out. is jammed in there.
a bone, B-O-H-N, bone evaporator coil. They were pretty, it's called a half round coil. They were pretty popular years back in the 60s and 70s. This is only like, this one's fairly new actually. It's like four years old. Motor has a rubber rubber band around it. There we go. Just like being a dentist, you gotta pull a tooth once in a while. I've got to go get a motor now. This. I left the uh, evaporator on to keep a little bit of cool in here. And the coil iced up. And it showed them on time I was at the supply house. Okay, let's see what we can do. And what I gotta do is make our electrical connection. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Oh, pretty okay. A little busy. Very low amperage draw in these motors.
little extra insulation doesn't help. Doesn't hurt, I mean. Should be good. This is gonna be wet. Whenever you drop these pans down, you gotta be careful because there's big water in here and it all floods down your chest. Uh oh. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. But sometimes the drain will be plugged up and this will be like full of water and watch out when that happens. behind the motor so I'm doing it by feel. I think we got that. It's getting wet there. Trough. Now I gotta figure out how to get this guy on here. How was that on here before? I guess I could just screw in it. this right here. It's nice and sturdy. I think we're, oh I got my bolt, put the bolts in. And I put those, the screws that I took out, that I drilled out before. Here. Well, it'll frost it up when I didn't have the fan on. So, but I had to work, so I just got. To, <laughs> just, oh, it's no problem. Let's 
drop the screw into the ribs. Just got anointed on my forehead with ice cold water. I just found my other refrigeration wrench. It was in the wrong place. I usually have two of them. And it was down to one. But I just found that it was in with my um, open end wrenches. <coughs> I almost bought another one because of that. Happens all the time. You end up with a lot of duplicate tools. <laughs> Good up here. Stop our rainforest. Still on the flat surface. Gotta make this tight. That's the best way to do it. I think we got it pretty good. The fan should turn this way and it should see the uh, scoop of the blade is like that cup is like that and, it, and the air should get scooped, pushed up and come out the sides. So let's turn it for a second, see which way it goes. Okay, it's going correctly.
Okay. Hi, buddy. How are you doing? Today? Living the dream, you know. Living the dream? Yeah. Come on. Tell him I am. <laughs> so she's living the dream. Can you tell I'm lying? Okay, the uh, air's getting sucked in and blown out real nice, you can feel it coming out. And I got a little wet from the kind of the ice that was up there and dripped down. I had to work in it, I guess a little soaked, but it's so hot outside it'll uh, It'll, it'll dry up in a couple of minutes probably. It's a pretty humid day. But, uh, that's weird. These bottles are crooked. I guess it's supposed to be like that. Okay guys, that's um that's it for this one. Gotta go on to the next one. <laughs>